Dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> um, we have heard the gospel of today, and um, it uh, narrates how Jesus went back to uh, Nazareth, and then he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath, and uh, there he uh, preached to the people. And, um, you know, our Lord went to uh, the uh, podium, something like this, and uh, he read uh, the scriptures. And he said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim you're acceptable to the Lord. You know that uh, um, <clears> that was read, was written by the Old Testament prophet Isaiah. And so when our Lord had stopped uh, telling them about uh, this uh, particular passage, he said, this passage is um, fulfilled in my presence. So in other words, the Holy Spirit that uh, came down upon our Lord and that uh, uh, his mission would be to preach the good news to the poor, then to heal the sick, and also to uh, give liberty to the captives or the prisoners. Well, that was the mission of the Messiah or the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, this is very important because as the Son of God, as the Messiah, the Savior, ganito po ang mission na gusto niyang gawin, hindi lamang para sa kanyang sarili, kundi para sa mga uh, ating mga lagad, katulad natin. So the mission of our Lord is also our mission. But you know, uh, it is not a very easy mission uh, the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alam ninyo si Mother Teresa, now a saint. Um, we all know that she is called the uh, saint of the gutter. And she was uh, working uh, mainly in uh, India, particularly Calcutta. And a certain visitor came and Mother Teresa was uh, trying to uh, uh, bring some of the beggars to their house of love or, or charity. And after Mother Teresa had uh, done this, the visitor said, Mother Teresa, I, can, I would not be able to do what you are doing. It is for me dirty and degrading. And what was the answer of Mother Teresa? Sabi niya po, well, I would not be doing this if Christ did not do it first. So her inspiration was our Lord Jesus Christ to uh, reach out to the less fortunate, to the poorest of the poor and uh, uh, the prisoners and uh, other um, people who are less fortunate in society. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, we cannot do what Mother Teresa can do, but Mother Teresa and our Lord expects us to uh, reach out also to the less fortunate in our country. You know, there are so many people who are poor, 
those who are in need of our help. And that's why we should try also to remember this uh, gospel of today, that first and foremost, the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ, that is to reach out to the less fortunate and to have this attitude and spirit of charity wherever and whatever we can do. You know, in uh, South, uh, in South Korea, many of uh, the non-Catholics <coughs> are um, being converted to Catholicism. Maraming maraming mga uh, Koreano na sila ay uh, uh, sumasama at nagiging Katoliko. Bakit? Because they see the Korean Catholics who really reach out to people, those who are less fortunate. Yung mga taong lalong-lalo na pag ganitong winter time, nagdadala sila ng mga pagkain sa mga uh, nasa bangketa at uh, blankets they give to them. And then... Uh, they also go and visit the prisoners. And so they said, this is a very, a very uh, inspiring uh, work of charity. And we would like to be a part of this kind of religion. So they, many of them get converted. And this is what they're also doing now. So, dear brothers and sisters and our viewers, let us remember this always, that Christ came to our world and his mission is really to reach out to the less fortunate, those who are prisoners, those who are, uh, uh, those who are uh, in the marginalized and uh, those who have less in life. I would like to end with a story about, you know, the end of Second World War. And um, the uh, enemies were retreating already from Europe. And the Allied forces were also uh, driving them away, forcing them to go out and uh, uh, to be imprisoned. And, you know, as these Allied forces, the Americans, the uh, French, and uh, the British, you know, uh, when they entered uh, Italy, they saw, alam po ninyo, yung mga structures and buildings were destroyed because of this bombing and war. And also the churches were also damaged. Now, there was an American soldier who entered, pumasok siya doon sa maliit na simbahan at nakita niya yung mga imahen dito sa altar ay uh, uh, nahulog na sa kwan at sira-sira na. And you know, this soldier saw this, uh, um, <coughs> this uh, statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This uh, statue was... Uh, before, uh, like this, with outstretched hands. Pero alam ninyo, nung makita niya, uh, basag na yung uh, <coughs> imahen na ito. Kaya ang ginawa ng sundalo ay pinagtagpi-tagpi niya itong mga uh, katawan at itong kanyang mga kamay. Pero nakita niya na hindi na pwedeng maibalik pa yung kanyang mga kamay. So ang ginawa ng sundalong ito ay uh, ang ginawa ang uh, tinignan nilang niya ay naglagay ng isang karatula at ang isinulat niya doon ay ganito. Jesus Christ uh, uh, your, uh, Jesus Christ's hands are no longer here. So you are the hands of Christ. 
So this is a very beautiful uh, story. And this is a story wherein many can still see that uh, statue where that karatula is, you are the hands of Christ. So this is what our Lord is telling us. And now that Christ is not here with us physically, well, of course, sacramentally, in the Blessed Sacrament, then you are the hands of Christ. Amen.